What's up my fellow LTD addicts? Let's talk about Sour Grapes. Sour Grapes is a tool that analyzes the sentiments of your Facebook comments and automatically filters out the negative ones. There's currently a lifetime deal running at AppSumo, and in this video, I'm gonna take you deep inside the tool so you can learn exactly how it works and best determine whether it's right for your business. Stay tuned. Hey everybody, I'm Dave from that LTD.life where I review software tools with lifetime offers. If you're new around here, make sure you hit that subscribe button and click the notification bell so you get notified when new reviews are posted. To follow along with what I'm doing here today, you can click the link in the description. Now let's get right to it. Here is Sour Grapes over at AppSumo. You can see that $49 is gonna get you in the door. There is a stacking opportunity, of course. If you wanna purchase an additional code, you're going to actually increase the number of comments that you can filter threefold. So the original deal, the single code gets you 500 comments hidden per month. And if you stack an additional code, you'll get 1500 comments hidden per month. Now, one of the nice features of this is that you can actually have multiple brands. There's no limit in the number of companies that you uh, monitor comments for. So if you're an agency working with a lot of different pages, it's really easy to just hit this little plus button. It'll connect up to Facebook and you can choose which companies you want to uh, monitor the comments for. So I should mention before we go any further that this tool only works with Facebook business pages. It's not gonna work with your personal page and it won't work with your Facebook group. It's only the business pages that can have the comments monitored. So that said, if you're not a owner of a Facebook business page, you can close this review, go to the next one. Now in the next part of this video, I'm gonna take you through the platform and show you how it works. I've already been testing it this morning and I've got some comments that have been filtered. Now I fully realize that filtering speech on a social platform is a hot button topic. I'm not gonna get into a political debate here, but I will mention some marketing best practices, ways that you can actually improve your brand by allowing some negative comments to go through. All right, so let's get into the platform and more on that later. Here's the Facebook page for that LTD.life. I've not been very active. I think I only have 12 likes here. So if you wanna help me out and, and get that number up, you can head over to facebook.com slash that LTD.life. Uh, but this morning, I actually posted uh, on a Facebook group and asked people to leave me negative comments. I said, don't be vulgar, but just leave comments that have a negative sentiment and I can see how this software works. And truth be told, it actually did a great job. Let's go back over to Sour Grapes here and you can see that there have been four comments that were hidden for this week total. So I, I don't really get any comments. I, in fact, I think the software will only log comments from the time that you activate it. So it's only been on the page for a little bit of time here. And you can see uh, this person wrote, uh, terrible review, why would anyone ever use this product? Uh, cannot believe you're recommending this and I can view the post that it was on by clicking this button or I can unhide it right here. So if I know right away that this wasn't a negative comment, that it was kind of falsely tagged, I could easily unhide it. However, if I wanna check it out on Facebook, I'll just click this button. It'll open up right to the appropriate comment. I can see the hidden comments by clicking these ellipses here and it reveals the comments. If I wanted to unhide it at this point, I could click this button or I could take further action like deleting the post or even reporting it to Facebook if someone is being extremely abusive. So how does the filtering actually work? How does the software know what is a negative comment and what should be let through? Well, there is of course a whitelist and a blacklist where you can set certain words to be automatically filtered out. Maybe you want to insert HTTP so you can remove all links from your Facebook page. I think that's a pretty common application. Uh, you can also whitelist words. So if you have maybe controversial sounding terms that are actually okay on your page, you could add those to the whitelist. However, the real magic in this software is down here where it has automatic sentiment analysis. By default, this is toggled on, but basically what it's doing here is a bit of artificial intelligence where it's reading the content and determining whether someone is intending to be negative or not. And I've got some uh, good examples of this here. So uh, this uh, gentleman, Gareth, has posted, this is fake. And so they, the software has deemed that to be negative. Let's go ahead and view that post. So here it is. You can see this is actually the cover art on the page. And he says, this is fake. That has been hidden. Gareth also commented on the profile page for this picture and wrote, OMG Photoshop. Now, this is a very interesting scenario because this is obviously meant to be a slightly negative comment, but there's not really enough context for the software to pick it up and identify that it's negative. I think anyone who's been online for a long time would realize that saying a, a photo is Photoshopped is generally not a positive thing. However, Photoshop on its own 
is just a piece of software, right? So you'd really have to have some advanced learning here in order to determine that OMG Photoshop means negative. So it didn't quite catch this one. However, you know, it's not the end of the world to me. I think uh, it did a fairly good job. If we look at the other comments that it pulled down is fake review on subscribe and this sucks. I can't believe you can't be enthusiastic on subscribing forever. Thank you, bye-bye. Okay, so those comments were all identified as negative and pulled down. There is a really interesting option here to analyze ads only. So that will subject your ads to the sentiment analysis process, but leave your page itself unfiltered. So I think this is pretty helpful if you're running ads to uh, draw new customers in. You want to make sure that you're putting your best foot forward. Now, as you begin your Facebook moderation career, it's important to know that the person who's left the comment that got filtered will never actually know their comment has been hidden. That's because to them, it appears like their comment is still live. It's just hidden from everyone else. And of course, moderators or admins will see the comment grayed out and be given the option to either delete, report, or unhide the comment. Now, it's worth noting that Facebook has some pretty decent moderation tools baked right into their software and available to you at no additional charge. That blacklist feature that we saw inside of Sour Grapes, well, Facebook calls that blocking words, and setting it up is very simple. Just head over to your Facebook page, click on Settings. You want to make sure you're under the General tab, and then go down to where it says Page Moderation, and you'll be able to enter the words you'd like to block. There's also a filter built in to automatically moderate profanity. So there's different levels of strictness here. You can, uh, by default, it's turned off, but there's also a medium and strong setting. Now, how does Facebook know what is profane? When I hover over this little question mark, it tells me that the community words and phrases are what trigger the filter to take action. So now you understand how Sour Grapes works and you know about the built-in Facebook alternatives. It's up to you to decide what is right for your Facebook page. However, I'll take a step back here and just give you some advice as a marketer. It's not always in your best interest to hide any source of negativity from your page. These are often potential customers not understanding your offer or expressing their pain points. It's your opportunity to swoop in like a superhero, overcome their objections, and turn them into paying customers. Now, this is the internet. Trolls do exist. People are mean for no reason. So I get that. Sometimes you do need to be more heavy handed. Maybe you have a brand that is very sensitive. Your audience is sensitive to controversial topics and you want to make sure that gets pulled down right away. Or maybe you're marketing to people between the ages of 13 to 18 and you want to keep things very PG. That all makes sense. So as a tool, Sour Grapes is really effective. In my limited testing, it caught everything that I expected it to catch. Now, is it really practical for most business pages? Are you getting hundreds and hundreds of comments that are negative per week? If you are, you might wanna check what you're doing. That said, I'm gonna evaluate Sour Grapes on the basis of what it's doing, and it's doing it rather effectively. So for that reason, I'm gonna give it an 8.4 out of 10. I'd recommend picking this up if you have a larger brand and it's hard to manage all of the comments. If you do want to go ahead and make a purchase, please use the link in the description. That is the referral link for this channel, which means it kicks us back a little bit of money, helps us keep the lights on and make more LTD reviews like this one. If you like the video, make sure you hit like so I know you appreciate the content. And I want to know, leave me a comment down below. Are you currently using no moderation on your Facebook page? Are you going to try out sour grapes? Or are you going to use the built in Facebook tools? Let me know and I'll see you in the next review. Happy to breathe Do you